Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, seconds into flight we are feeling the rumble we are seeing 33 out of 33 raptor engines ignited on the super heavy booster booster and ship avionics power and telemetry nominal acquisition of signal corpus christi we're continuing to get good call outs our trajectory Matthew. looking nominal systems looking nominal just amazing to see all 33 lit up once again At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure, and passing supersonic, so we're now moving faster than the speed of sound, getting those onboard views from the ship cameras. Now, the, me the next major milestone is gonna be a hot staging maneuver. Again, we're gonna be doing that in just about 90 seconds. To do that, we're gonna shut down all but the three center Raptor engines on Super Heavy. That'll be our Miko, our most engines cut off. And then the clamps holding the two stages together are gonna release. Starship second stage will ignite its engines, the RVAX first, the sea levels right after that. The sea level engines will be splayed or just kind of pointed out at about a 15 degree angle. So if you look close, if we get good tracking, you might be able to see those center right after. And so those six engines will push Starship off of the booster. All right, counting down now, we're gonna be coming up right at around the three minute mark on that hot staging maneuver. Again, we'll see the booster engines start to shut down. You'll see all but three lights go out in the middle. And then we'll see the engines ignite on ship, pushing it away. And that will start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip Back and then move into the boost back burn, setting it up booster for eventual splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Hot staging confirmed. Boosters now making right, its way signal. back, yeah. seeing six engines ignited on ship. Kate, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Oh man, uh, I need a moment to pick my jaw up from the floor because these views are just stunning. Uh, these are live views from Starship. Uh, first stage is currently performing. Ship the avionics, power and telemetry nominal. Good there, news informing us that the second stage or the ship, everything looking good, nominal there. First stage is currently performing the boost back burn, expecting that to last about one minute. That boost good back burn, uh, that boost back burn propels the booster back towards the coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're uh, only using the super heavy boosters, 13 center engines from here on out. Uh, as whenever they relight, you'll be able to see that in the left bottom corner. Uh, those are the ones that can gimbal. In other words, they move and change direction uh, in order to change the thrust to steer the first stage back to Earth. Wow, these are just incredible views coming to us. Everything is looking good for both the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen or the super heavy booster as well as on the right-hand side of your screen, that is Starship, or we also refer to that as the ship. Now, the boost back burn uh, was the first of two burns required to return it to Earth. 
The next one will be the landing burn, where all 13 center engines will initially ignite and then transition into a three engine burn uh, to help slow it down. Now, just as a reminder of the stage one test objectives, uh, we're looking for controlled ascent, which we have so far, uh, stage separation, which gorgeous, we cruised right through it, uh, as well as- on a nominal trajectory. Good news there telling us that the path that Starship is on uh, is good. Now Starship's second stage is still firing its engines and as you heard, following planned flight path, uh, the ship objectives, we're looking for hot staging, again, cruised right through that. We're looking to demonstrate controlled ascent as well as orbital insertion. Now the bottom right-hand corner of the screen shows the ship uh, engine graphics, so be sure to keep an eye on those. Yep, Kate, like this is just a, a phenomenal test so far. Super Heavy is performing beautifully today. It's on its return leg of the journey. Ship continuing to burn its six engines, those larger circles, the Raptor vacuum engines, the inner circles, the uh, Raptor sea level engines. We're ab about 30 seconds away, uh, just under 30 seconds away. From the start of the boost back burn, uh, excuse me, the landing burn on the booster. You can see the grid fins rotating. Those hypersonic grid fins are guiding us through the atmosphere back towards our splashdown site. Again, we're going for a hard uh, for a splashdown, a soft splashdown. So for landing burn, we're going to expect to see the 13 center engines light rapidly bring down the booster's velocity, and then just the three in the center for splashdown. Let's see if that'll work. We're getting a few, a few engines. And acquisition of signal. Let's see if we can get some other video of that. Now, uh, this is a test objective today. It is still something that we're attempting to learn. Um, and to make it that far to demonstrate the controlled re-entry up to that point is pretty darn good. Ship continuing to look nominal with its ascent burn. This burn lasting uh, about six minutes total. And we're expecting that this burn will end uh, just after T plus eight minutes, about a minute from now. So far though, I mean, congrats to the team. Making it this far is farther than, we, than we've gone Absolutely. on flight two. Just wonderful views and great engine performance Should from the vehicles. So far we've hit controlled ascent. We're in the middle of that right now. We demonstrated the hot staging. Kate, as you said, cruised through that. Uh, we demonstrated controlled entry of the, the booster, just yeah. dropped a little short of the engine relay, but hey, that's something we can learn for the next one. Yeah, now that view that we just had moments ago was a live shot of Star Command. There you see it again. This is uh, our mission control center at Starbase, uh, where vehicle operators are standing by. Now the next milestone coming up uh, is in less than a minute. Uh, at that point, ship will or, I'm sorry, it actually it already has. Um, engine cut off. There we go. <laughs> As you heard there by the call out and from the crowd behind us. Starship's six Raptor engines have successfully shut down. We heard a call out for nominal orbital insertion, which is incredible. Look at these views, Dan. Uh, I'm just completely blown away right now. Uh, what a day. Congratulations to the entire SpaceX team. I mean, this, this flight pretty much just started, but we're farther than we've ever been before. We've got a Starship, not just in space, but on its coast phase into space. Just to recap where we've come, and it's only been nine and a half minutes. How has it only been nine and a half minutes? We lifted off right on time at uh, 8.25 a.m. We didn't have to hold at our gate at all. We had 
33 out of 33 Raptor engines open up uh, and light and get us through a nominal ascent. Another successful hot stage. All six engines on the ship propelling us into orbit. We did see a no uh, what looked like a nominal boost back burn. Uh, and then we did make it all the way to the landing burn this time. Didn't light all the engines that we expected, and we did lose the booster. Uh, we'll have to go through the data to figure out exactly what happened, obviously. Um, so we'll be on the lookout for information about that. But uh, wow, uh, a ship in space. We've got a bunch of, as we said, ambitious objectives ahead of us. Um, over over the next couple of minutes and pretty much over the next hour where we're going to really, we've got the ship in space, we're now going to take advantage of this and try and learn as much as possible about some of the other systems, uh, including that first ever Raptor Relight in space. So it's just going to be incredible. So all of that still to come. The mission just started, but wow, uh, what what a liftoff, what a, what a hot stage, what, a, what an amazing sight to see Starship there in outer space. I, I can't believe we're seeing it in, in <laughs> space. This is awesome. Wonderful. And now we are going to be coasting for uh, the next about 30 minutes or so. <laughs> we'll be back around the T plus 40 minute mark. And that'll be uh, Starship continuing to coast, hit those ambitious test objectives, and then continue on to re-entry. We're not totally sure what video that we'll get since that normally comes to us as we overfly ground stations. And we, we don't have a ton of those along our trajectory. But as we have video, we'll be sure to bring that to you. Starlink may be able to bring us additional communication paths today that will allow us to talk to Starship through re-entry with no communications blackout period. Uh, it's a possibility, but either way, we will be live for all of today's milestones. And of course, when we do have views, Puerto Rico. especially like the ones that we have now, which I just cannot get over, uh, when we have views, we will be sure to bring those to you live. But no uh, views or no views, we'll see you back here at T plus 40 minutes. Pez door is opening. And there we just heard call it that Pez door is opening. So that's great. First test. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of our test objectives today is to open and close that Pez door. That's where we will deploy Starlink satellites from in the future. So great news there that that test objective, uh, uh, excuse me, that test objective is already underway. So. Come back here, uh, stick around till T plus 40 minutes for coverage of Starship's deorbit burn uh, demonstration, followed by its reentry and what is sure to be an exciting splashdown.